Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in to another video of One Tool A Week Guy. If you're new to the channel, we take a look at tools every week. So if you love tools, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So what is it that we're going to be doing this week? Well, if you ask me, we're going to continue our building our solder bag putting it together so what is it that we're gonna be adding it's going to be our filler metals so we've already added our torch our, of course our tool bag everything I also went ahead and placed one of those mirrors that I went ahead and added on our building a tool bag segment just because you definitely need a mirror for inspection so also we have our protection for heat and of course our torch so we're gonna be adding our filler on we're ready for that. Let me go ahead and put this baby to the side. So, of course, in adding the filler rod, there's some other procedures that you're going to need. Unless you're brazing, that's something separate. So, with that being said, if you're going to be soldering, you're going to need a fitting brush. So, with that fitting brush, I'm not going to jump too much into it. It all depends what size you're running to. And more than likely, you're probably going to end up cutting it and connecting to your drill. And just drilling it out. Or if you're cleaning off some all-thread rod, whatever the case is. Uh, brushes are always great to have they come in handy I don't technically keep it in my tool bag but I do keep them in my soldering bag or they're just scattered all over my truck and they're usually chopped up yes they do sell them adapters for the hex impact or whatever the case is they're just gonna run a little more for what you're gonna end up using it it's not gonna last you that long unless you're getting the Melrose the red handles which are gonna be more pricier but they will last you a whole lot more so of course we're gonna be adding fitting brushes and again it all depends on what size you're getting next up that we're gonna be adding on top of our fitting brush whenever you're cleaning your fittings you're gonna need some sand cloth so you're gonna be cleaning the sand cloth um, I'm sorry you're gonna be cleaning the copper pipe or whatever material you're gonna be binding that filler metal unless you're brazing then more than likely you're going to be using a brittle pad just to clean it up a little bit you really don't have to sand it down so of course i won't get into it either i usually just keep the rolls with me as far as a sand cloth that way i could cut whatever length and large pipe just get that movement going and uh, again i really don't like the mesh no particular reason i just like the solid sand cloth so that's going to be another item that we're adding just to prep up our pipe for the filler metals and let's go ahead and put that in the bag uh, next up we're gonna be adding of course you can't do any soldering if you don't have any flux so the first flux is gonna be just a regular flux that I have I keep the 16 ounce I keep the large one just in case I'm doing a large job running two three inch uh, four inch copper if I'm soldering or brazing it depending on uh, what is it that I'm going to be doing with it I keep a 16 ounce regular flux now of course this isn't meant for uh, potable water and if you're going to be doing potable water systems then you'll probably end up needing an aqua flux so the reason it's for non potable or I'm sorry for potable water it just contains t less 10% or less of tint or powder tin inside of these and these are going to contain higher levels of tin so that's the reason being for that baby so of course I keep two separate ones and of course if you're gonna have flux um, one of them is gonna run you for about $22 which is gonna be the aqua flux and the regular flux is gonna be around $21.52 at Amazon which isn't too crazy of a price so let me go ahead and put these baby back and of course if you're gonna use flux then of course you're gonna need some brushes so the purpose is, guys, if you're going to be soldering, um, always wear gloves on you. You're trying to keep those mineral oils off of the copper pipe. That way you don't contaminate the system. The flux is going to be acid. That way it kills those oils. And, of course, brushes. That way you don't come in contact with them or anything like that. So we're going to be adding some brushes on Amazon. You can buy a pack of 36, I believe, for $5.69. So isn't relatively, I keep more than one just because I usually throw them away or if I'm having issues because water's still running through, I tend to put some some aqua flux or regular flux on the brush and maybe as I'm soldering, I end up burning the tips on the, that way I could add a little more, maybe it'll catch. So also guys, uh, that's gonna be for the flux and brush. Pretty much now you're all set up for your filler metals. The first filler metal that you're gonna be adding is gonna be if you're soldering, you're gonna add a 50-50. 
So of course guys, 50-50 is not for is not for potable water systems either. You're gonna be using it with your regular flux and also it's gonna be meant just for drains. Or oh, if you're doing uh, copper drains as far as for commercial kitchen wise, usually you run about copper lines underneath, copper DWB, or I'm sorry, DWV copper lines. You're gonna be using 50-50, which works great. Also for lead stubs, anything underground or stuff like that, that's gonna be connected to drains only, non-potable systems. So we're gonna be adding a 50-50 uh, solder, which contains 50% tin and 50% lead. Now this is gonna be a brand new one pound and it's gonna run you for about $20 a pound. So next item that you will probably end up having in your bag is going to be 95.5 if you keep it. Now 95.5 is going to be lead free and it's going to be 95% tin and 5% anti antimony. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce that that work too well so that's going to be this baby of course it's lead free so you're able to use it on potable water systems and it's going to run you about 20 dollars a pound also now this one isn't the necessarily the best one so if you want to go with a little bit more expensive and pricier then you'll go with the silver bright depending on what brand you're getting this is going to be the 100 the 100 right here silver bright now the silver bright is going to be 95.6 percent tin 4% copper and I believe 0.4% silver so this is going to be the better of them both of course it's going to be a little more expensive on Amazon you're going to be able to find it for $30.88 so if you're doing water lines anything for a good run this is going to be your better bang for your buck and like I said it's going to be just a little more for the pound so let's say you're not soldering and you're brazing well then you're going to go with brazing rod now I don't have any particular brands these are just the brands that my local store carries or my supply house that I go to carry so depending on how I'm running uh, usually I like to keep one of each and I forgot to mention on the 95 on the 50 50 if you have them that look alike like these right here they're the same brand sometimes these these plastic stickers rub off um, you might want to label it because if you don't you can't tell what it is um, again you cannot use this for potable system so I would probably maybe tape it or something that way you know which one's a 50 50 now again like I said I don't keep I just go whatever my supply ha houses have so this one's gonna be the Harris and it's gonna be the 5% silver and 5% is gonna be uh, whenever you're practicing it's gonna be the cheaper of them but again if you want to get into brazing and practice some at home I would definitely go with the 5% just because it's a little tougher and once you get into the 15% this is the Harrison 15% silver um, it's gonna cost a lot more this one I believe runs about 79 to $80 just around it depends on what supply house you go to or where you're purchasing it and of course it's just gonna be a smoother transition to your brazing as far as your rod so of course 15 is good is okay but of course the 15% silver is gonna be and what they mean about 15 it's gonna contain 15% silver as of the five is gonna contain 5% silver now again if you're brazing these are great rods both of them and depending on what your job scope calls for or the engineer calls for you're gonna go with either or so guys that's gonna be this segment for our building a solder bag if you have any questions go ahead and leave your comments below of course we're gonna continue adding some more items to it this is just your filler rods of course if you're soldering or brazing these are gonna be typical and if you're brazing I know most of you HVAC guys are gonna use oxygen and acetylene tanks but we'll get there eventually this is just beginner stuff and again those tanks are going to be a little more pricey but we will get there as we proceed with the channel guys again if you have any questions or comments uh go go ahead or leave leave them in the comments below and again guys i forgot to mention thank you all for the 1000 subscribers uh i give away the veto pro pack and again that my goal is for now on every 1000 that we add subscribers i will be giving away a veto pro pack backpack in order to win leave the comments below make sure you share my videos and let me know keep on the conversations in the comments so as always thanks for watching one tool a week guys